Hey guys, Mr. Bohork here, and today I want to talk about polynomials, and mainly actually not really much math today, but I would need to talk about the language that you use when you're talking about polynomials, and there's a lot of vocabulary words, so let's go through this. First up, monomials. Okay, we may have seen these before, but we call them terms, like earlier on in math, and now when we get to big boy, big girl math, we call them monomials. But a monomial is one number, or one variable, or a combination of one or more variables. All of these are examples of monomials, just a plain old 7x squared, like an x times an x, a 3 and a y combination of one or more variables, 3 and a y, 3y, a z by itself is a monomial, even negative 1 half x to the third is a monomial. Basically, it's a monomial if you don't see any plus or minus signs on them. Okay, remember, that's a negative sign, not a minus sign. So it's basically a monomial if you don't see any plus or minus signs. It's just one term is what we called it before. So all of these are monomials. Now, each monomial has something called a degree. And keep this in mind when I say the definition. It is the sum of the exponents of the variables in a monomial. It's a mouthful, but it's really not that hard. So, for example, if I have 2x squared, that's a monomial. This monomial has a degree of 2, since the exponent is 2, and it's the only variable, x. Now, if we had something like 7x squared, y squared, there's a 2 exponent on the x, a 2 on the y, so it has a total degree of 4. The 2 and 2 make 4. Remember, because it's the sum of the exponents. Now, finally, on to polynomials. Polynomials, one or more monomials put together by addition or subtraction. So, for example, if I have like 3x squared, that's a monomial, plus 2x, another monomial, plus 7, another monomial. All of that together is a polynomial. And then we have 5x minus 1, two monomials put together by addition or subtraction. They're being subtracted, so that is a polynomial. In fact, even the ones we talked about up here, like this one up here, that's also a polynomial. It's just a special type of polynomial called a monomial. You can think of all of these as polynomials. It's kind of like saying um, when you have cars on the road. You can call all the cars on a road a car, but you have different special types of cars, like a truck or a sedan or a station wagon, if you're that old. Those kind of things. All right. Now, polynomials also have degrees. Right. Now, the degree of a polynomial is the same as the degree of the highest degree monomial, which is kind of a mouthful, but it makes sense when you look at it. So, for example, if I have this polynomial, 3x squared plus 5x to the fourth plus 7, look at the degrees of each monomial. This one has a degree of 2. This has a degree of 4. And this has a degree of 0, because remember, it's x to the 0 is on there. Well, the degree of the entire polynomial is 4. It's the degree of the highest monomial, so that's 4. You take that one, and that's the degree of the whole thing. That's the degree of polynomial, and that's going to be helpful for what we're talking about next. Next up is something called the standard form of a polynomial. So when you're writing a polynomial... The degree of each monomial should always go from biggest to smallest. Okay, it's called the standard form, and your answer always needs to be in standard form. Your final solution always needs to be in standard form. So, if you look at this very long polynomial right here, notice this is a five-term polynomial. One, two, three, four, five. Five monomials together. We can look at the degree of each one, and it should go from biggest to smallest. So, this has a degree of five, three, two, one, zero biggest to smallest. There doesn't have to be a fourth degree monomial right here. Okay, it doesn't have to be there. You can, As long as it goes from biggest to smallest, whether there's missing numbers or not, then it's in standard form. Okay, always check for that. Also, just a few special names for polynomials. We have binomials, which are two terms, or two monomials. And these are going to be important for later on. We have x plus 2, 3x squared plus 7. So notice how there's two monomials put together, 2 here, and even a half x to the 3rd plus 7x to the ninth. something that crazy. Now notice that's not in standard form. I should switch it around. Okay. But even something like that is a binomial. And then finally, we have trinomials, three terms. So 
tri means three. Okay, mon three monomials put together. And they'll usually be in this kind of format right here, where we have like 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 x squared minus x plus 2. These specifically, when it has a degree of 2, okay, it has a special name called a quadratic, and we'll talk more about those later on. All right, I'm Mr. Bohork, and that has been the language of polynomials.